Well, hello. I thought I would film this before I go outside and work in my garden because I'll be a lot less clean then. I uh, want to talk to you today about the Kuwaiko V14S. This is a vintage pen, something I have never reviewed before. I've never done a vintage pen. I, uh, I don't know, something about it appealed to me when I saw it, so I thought I would take a risk, and you know what? I liked it. I, uh, this pen is older than me. It's a 1960s pen. The V on the little logo, it's just sort of right here on the side in the plastic. The V it represents the fact that it has a semi-hooded nib. The 14, because the, that nib is a 14 karat gold nib. And the S shows that it has a stainless steel cap. The plastic on this pen, uh, Mont Blanc sells this pl plastic. They don't say, you know, we got us a plastic pen here. They say resin. So it's the resin that's used in the Mont Blanc line. Uh, I guess it resists scratches and uh, stays shiny. It's definitely a shiny pen, so I guess for your flagship you want that. Uh, unscrew the cap, because it is a screw cap. There's this beautiful blue um, ink window with um, little pillars in it, kind of like a Noodler's Nib Creeper or a Mont Blanc 149, which I'll admit I've never seen a Mont Blanc 149 in the flesh. But uh, sort of like that. And like I said, the very nice blue ink window, which I kind of like that. The semi-hooded nib, and I like, I like to see the nib, but it's okay. Uh, it's a very fine writer. This pen writes a very fine line. I guess it was designed for very precise lettering, you know, in small notebooks. Because it is a small pen. I'll get to size in a bit, but you can just see. That's small. The Because it writes so fine and precisely, the ink lasted a long time in it. Piston filler, which Kuwaiko, please, or I'll even call you Kuwaiko if you want, but please start using piston fillers again. I, I like them. I like that it's built in. Uh, not a lot of fanciness on the barrel, you know, it's very simple. There's a little trim ring at the end. Otherwise, uh, a little bit of writing here to tell you the model of the pen. Otherwise, very plain. Same thing with the cap. It says Kaveco on it. Uh, on the finial, there's the standard Kaveco emblem. Uh, the clip is just this plain, ordinary little clip. And that's it. It's just a good writer. I, uh... For a while there, I was even using it as my daily writer instead of using my usual Lamy 2000. Well restored, I'm going to just give a brief shout out to Uber Pens. In fact, I like them so well, I am adding them to my website. And yeah, I recommend if you're interested in vintage pens that you don't want to restore, look at Uber Pens. Some of them are cheap, some of them are expensive. Uh, this one is now more expensive than it was when I bought it. So, you know. I, they must be running low on stock, but they restore them. They make sure they work, and that's important to me. But I'll tell you what this has done is it's got me interested in using one. Now, as far as the writing experience, we'll talk more about that when I get to the writing sample, but the short version is don't expect a lot of line variation. Yes, it's a gold nib, but oh yeah, and the wind is open. Uh, so if you heard that, sorry. But uh, yes, it's a gold nib but it's not doesn't do a lot of line variation. In fact, I was sort of surprised, I noticed how blobby the tip is. You'll see it in the picture. But it really did write fairly fine. So, would I buy it again? Yeah, I like it that much. Uh, if I didn't have that Lamy 2000, I think this would become my daily writer, even though it's an older pen. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well balanced in the hand, you can post it. Uh, in fact, I'll talk a little bit about size here in a minute, but, you know, even posted with that metal cap. You know, some of the pens I have with the metal cap, they're, they become very back heavy. Not this guy. This guy is well thought out, well designed. So as far as size goes, obviously it's a very narrow pen, kind of like a nib creeper. Uh, as far as length, probably close to half an inch shorter than a Noodler's Conrad capped. Uncapped, both screw caps. Still about a half an inch shorter than the Conrad, and just look at the ridiculous difference in nibs there. Posted, it's actually only maybe a quarter inch or three-eighths of an inch shorter than the Noodler's Conrad. So it definitely does have the length when it's posted. Um, so I hope that was useful, and we'll turn now to our writing sample, and I look forward to showing it to you. I'll do my writing sample with the Kuwaiko V14S. Kuwaiko V14S is a very fine nib pen. I'd say it's uh, a little bit finer than a typical Western fine. It's definitely finer than my uh, Lamy 2000 fine or uh, 
my Kueco, what is it, Kueco Sport Fine, my little pocket pen. So very fine nib, very smooth nib, very precise. Uh, now, this is not a pen I'm even going to try to push to flex. Uh, do not push a pen beyond its comfort zones. Most pens are not designed to flex, and you'll just cause damage. And when it's an old pen like this one, the damage is done, and you can't replace the pen. So always be careful. So absolutely true. I love this pen. It's it's kind of a plain pen. It's not gaudy like some of the others that I've reviewed, but I'll tell you what, it writes well. It looks good. It looks pen-like. It's just, it's kind of like, uh, you know, when a woman wears just a plain black dress, there's just something about it. Yeah, she's not flashing, getting it, or yeah, I hope she's not flashing, sorry. She's not being flashy and getting attention. <laughs> Um, sorry, wow, tell her my mind's at. Anyway, she's not flashing getting attention, but she looks good in it. And that's kind of what I, how I see this pen. Uh, definitely a classic for the ages. And uh, yeah, thanks to this pen, I will be getting some more vintage pens. I actually have a reform from the 1970s I hope to review. And I am in the process of getting a Kueco from the 1930s. I want to say it's a Kueco Dia, so uh, yeah, I expect a little bit more vintage, and you know, if I stumble across something at the right price, who knows? So I thank you for watching, and we'll see you later.